another video in the Malakam series. Uh, this video is your first introduction to the actual Malakam sky. Now we recommend that after you purchase the camera, install the software, that you run a daytime check just to become familiar with the software and see how uh, Malakam Sky works with the images and where it saves the files. So, plugged in your camera, you pointed your telescope at some daytime object and you start Malakam Sky. There we go. As you can see, I'm using a Sky Raider AG 1.2C. So we'll activate our camera. So you click on the camera name. It opens up. And then the first thing you get to do is, as you can see, I'm pointing to a, a, a daytime object, is you put it in video mode and you play with exposure and your gain. These two guys run hand in hand. And I like to have uh, good exposure and then take down my gain a bit more to get it to the way that I prefer. So here we go, a beautiful daytime image of a, a roof vent. Now, the, one of the first things that you're going to be doing is you're going to be wanting to take pictures and record videos of what you're, you've been doing in the evening. So let's just understand how the system works. Well, you have two buttons here, the snap and record. Now, the snap takes a snapshot and it saves it where you last saved your previous uh, images. Now, you, this is the first time you're using it. So if I take your snapshot, you'll see it, it uses a, a, a naming convention 0001 asterisk. Now, it hasn't saved it to the, to the computer yet. So you have a couple of options. You can right click on this and hit close and it, it tells you, do you want to save the image? And you say yes. And it defaults to, like I said, the last location. Since it's the first time we're using it, it defaults to desktop. And you can give it a name. <laughs> Let's call it pick. And then you can choose the format that you would uh, like to save it in. And most of us will probably use bitmap or PNG. So I'll use that and we'll save it. And it's done. And you notice how it's actually closed the window. An alternative way, let me hit snap again, so here's the second one, is you have under file the ability to save. So if I hit save here, again it goes through the same process, it asks me for a name, just cancel that. And you even have a icon that says save and it does the same process right there. Just cancel that. Now, one of the cool ways of saving it. Let's say you've got a whole bunch of snapshots. There we go. We've got five of them. We can actually take these and put them in a folder of choice. To do that, we need to go to options, go to preference, and you'll see that for our, our uh, auto capture and back record, right, um, these are the locations where it's going to say, so auto capture is for our snapshots and batch record is for our videos. So it comes up with a default location in subfolders and you're allowed to change it. You can see there's the 0001 name. So I'm going to set the default location to my documents. I've got a folder called Malcolm Sky and in that folder I've got a another folder that has the date. Now you, you can go and change that to your parts content, but this is good. This will be using a date and then it will start saving the name under the subfolder with the Malcolm Sky. The format is going to be 0001, but again, you can change that format to uh, date. Now, I'm going to, I'll put the word pick here and you'll see what it's going to do. So the prefix is going to be pick and then it's going to be following up with 0001 or 0001.
once it knows where I'm going to save my, my images, once you go to File and you go Batch Save, it's going to save all of these to that naming convention in that folder. You watch this. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now you notice how it popped up the ability to change the location in case you change your mind. But there's that pick. 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 4. Now you can use Windows and go and have a look at the folder, or you can point to this icon here, click the down arrow, and go to the image folder, and you'll see there the images stay saved under this folder, the file folder structure. There's my images pick 1, pick 2, pick 3, and pick 4. Cool. Let's close this up. Now, the next thing you probably want to practice is video recording. So again, the first thing you need to do is determine where you would like to save your videos. So go back into Options, Preferences, and you can see this is the process for the recording my video. It's going to be in the same Man from Sky Sky Raider, same folder, same sequence, and again prefix. And let's just call it. Video. There we go. Now, it's set here just as, as some sort of default of five seconds. But you, so so what happens if I hit the record button? It will just save a five second worth of video. But if you uncheck this, you have to tell it to, when to stop recording. So I'll just make a ten second video. Say okay. We go so when I go to record, you'll notice that it's going to start recording now. Now, one thing I should mention once you take pictures, you want to make sure you click back on your video window here because this is the live video, these are just the images that we were taking. So, when I hit record, it's going to do a 10 second video of this wonderful roof vent. Here we go, hit record, and you'll notice it down here. Just let me know it's at three seconds of 10. All sorts of information when it gets to 10 it will stop automatically there we go now if you notice at the bottom it also gives you the resolution that you're using and the frame rate that you're taking pictures at right and what frame you're currently at so again we'll go down to our folder go to our record folder there it is there is our 10 second video and again you can run this video open this video with any video uh, program that Windows provides. There we go. So once you've got your file location and your video location folders determined, you're then free to use these these buttons in conjunction with batch save and and or save to to save the individual pictures and it will automatically save the video uh, in these folders, specifically the record folder. Now, this is a good time to play, so if you scroll down, you, you can play with your white balance, that means adjusting the white balance, right, and have it pick, pick that out. You can now also use this time to practice review, determine what that means, saturate, saturation, see what that does to your image, brightness, what this does to your image. It's all about experimenting and then contrasting what that does with your image and then the gamma as well. So use this time to play with some of these commands. Right? Look at what happens. For example, horizontal and vertical flipping. What about rotation? What about ROI? What can you do with that? This is the best time to play with this. And you've got some really powerful commands that will take a while to get used to. Specifically, your histogram. And uh, just learning how to use these guys to affect your image takes a while. And again, reading the manual is pretty useful. Right? You can see 
see how these these commands affect the image. And practice in the daytime is a great way to become more comfortable with them in the evening when you're doing it uh, for real. So hopefully this uh, this video was an introduction, a quick introduction on how to get uh, Malikam Sky working with your camera as well as how to set up your uh, folders for the first time. Now there are other videos that will go into more detail about how to, to change your folder locations, but this was meant just to introduce you to the first thing you should always do, play in the daytime with your Manicam camera and your, and your telescope. So I'd like to thank you for watching and as I usually say, um, if you have any questions just log on to the Manicam site post your questions, and for sure, somebody will get back to you with some great advice. So again, thank you for watching.